Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures. I'm your host Lincoln and thank you for joining me. I hope this video is a nice blend of thrills, chills, and scares that have you on the edge of your seat. Let's waste no more time and get into the captures. The large concentration of reported Bigfoot sightings in Canadian forests paints quite the picture. At the very least, it shows it's a potential hub for Sasquatch. This here is an intriguing clip coming from the Canadian National Parks of Banff, Alberta. We have a snowy wooded area and the person behind the camera appears visibly uneasy, sensing something. As the camera pans and zooms in an attempt to determine what the heck this is, well, the cause suddenly becomes apparent. A massive head peeks out from behind a tree, seemingly stalking the cameraman. The head is imposing, sort of resembling that of a hefty gorilla or an ape. However, like I'm sure many of you know, Canada doesn't have a wild gorilla or ape population. The cameraman is convinced that it was indeed a Bigfoot, and he claims to have encountered them before. An unsettling comment from a viewer said that he's seen this type of behavior before, and that the Bigfoot is definitely stalking the guy. Look, I don't know about that, but I will say, it looked like the creature was about to show himself and the camera cut off. So that's kind of annoying. Anyhow, what do you think? We thinking this is a legit sight of the legendary Bigfoot or might there be an alternative explanation? People are often drawn to exploring abandoned places at night, and a video from India captures the potential dangers of this curiosity. The footage shows a scared man in a forest at night. You can sense how afraid he is as he films the area around him. Out of nowhere, a loud snorting noise comes from the dark, and this freaks the guy out and he takes off. If we slow the video down and check it out, it becomes clear that two figures, similar in appearance, are following him. Viewers in the comments are saying that this looks like Slender Man. However, he's shorter and they don't have faces. I'm always skeptical of these point of view videos where someone's taping themselves, but this has sort of a real feel to it and it's kind of unsettling. Nobody knows the original source of the video, but it took the internet by storm. Witnessing killer whales in the wild can be breathtaking, but also intense. A fisherman's video shows a close call with one of these powerful creatures. The fisherman notices the killer whale getting close as the boat continues. He yells to his mates, pointing out the whale's closeness and the risk of it jumping towards them. And just like that, their hearts dropped. The killer whale strikes the boat, causing a violent jolt. The impact sends a wave of panic through the crew. Their voices are filled with fear and they're pleading with the driver to put some distance between them and the whale. As they speed off, the whale's fin is still visible and it's following them. I mean, that part right there got me. When you see the size of that fin, like that made it real. That was just wild. I've heard the stories about them attacking boats and I think they actually capsized four last year. But seeing them up close like that definitely kind of stopped me in my tracks. Made it more real for sure. This video from India captures a startling moment for a rancher, as seen through a security camera in the house's backyard. The calm is broken when the rancher walks outside and is greeted by his cow bolting toward him, clearly panicked. Trying to figure out what's going on, the rancher sees a lion chasing after a calf, hell-bent on catching it. In an act of remarkable bravery, or where I come from, known as trained to go, the rancher quickly leaps into action and flings something at this lion. He obviously hits it, and the lion miraculously lets the calf go. In this moment of flight or fight, this guy chose fight. As the video continues, more cows appear in the backyard. This is just a great video. I love everything about it. Most people don't have the presence of mind to act like this when faced with such danger. I mean, this is such a strong example of the protective instincts people can have for their animals, even when their own safety is at risk. Very, very impressive. This 
This is just a wild video taking place at a golf course. Look at the speed and agility of both these creatures. Real life game of cat and mouse, cat and squirrel. And they somehow both survive that fall. Now, I said this was a bobcat because that's what the title said, but the more I look at it, the less it looks like a bobcat to me. Do we have anyone that can confirm? This cat looks skinnier than I picture a bobcat in my head. I don't know, I mean, I pictured them with an agile body type, of course, but a little more squatty and powerfully built. Maybe it's a juvenile. I'm just curious. This is a very old and strange video that surfaced from the depths of the internet with no known origin. It shows a group of friends enjoying themselves, drinking in a forest somewhere in France. Suddenly, their attention is caught by what they initially think is a dog. But as they look more closely, there's something else. A strange figure moving behind the trees. This being has long, slender fingers and a large head that appears skeletal. The video ends abruptly, leaving us with no clue as to what happened afterward. Was this an encounter with something from another world, or is there another explanation for the mysterious figure? What's your take on this unexplained piece of footage? Okay, this next story comes from an indoor camera. I'll read the statement from the original poster. I was at work today and my wife said something weird just happened. She sent me this video that captures movement when the dogs are barking, etc. She was emptying the dishwasher in the kitchen, which is on the other room about 20 feet behind the camera. And you may hear that. At the beginning of the video, she only noticed the door open to the closet. At first, I had my AirPods in when she sent me the video, and I heard the voice immediately. I quickly realized she hadn't heard this yet. It definitely gave me chills. She's been really freaked out since I made her aware of it. I'm really pretty quick to explain away certain things that happen around the house, but these two happening right next to each other is too great to ignore. My first impression was the word Haya, but when I keep listening to it, I'm hearing Taya more and more. Let me know what you think you hear or if I'm just losing it. Okay, now let's listen and take a look at the video. By watching the video, it's clear that there is definitely something making noise, but it's pretty hard to say exactly what is being said. Like the husband said, it sounds like Taya or Haya. If I had to make a choice, I would probably say Haya. And the audible voice is weird, but the dog's reactions are what got me. I mean, they're just living. They don't have any incentive to try to scare anybody or fake something. And that one closest to the door popped right up. Something was there. The couple has never gotten any answers for this eerie encounter. This is a crazy video. The salon owner in the middle of a haircut was suddenly faced with chaos. The routine day turned dramatic as this deer unexpectedly burst through the glass front. I mean, luckily the clients and the owner dodged to safety and they missed the initial onslaught, but the deer is now inside and clearly upset desperately looking for an escape, only to smash through another glass door. When interviewed, the salon owner was still in shock. She was worried about the potential damage to her business, but was also grateful that herself and her patrons weren't hurt. Man, this is a good reminder to just keep your head on a swivel. Now, this video caught my attention at first because when I found it, I heard the kid's voice and thought, man, he sounds sincere. I was thinking he was on the front stoop talking to his mom or dad or someone. As you can see, there's a white creature out in the field and their dog is just going nuts over it. He doesn't zoom right in up on it, so the footage is kind of eh. But I did a little digging and this video comes from a channel of kids who have uploaded similar videos. It looks like they're just having a little fun. 
And in conclusion, I'm pretty sure this creature is none other than the bedroom sheet monster. Anyhow, can't fault him for using a little bit of imagination. Here's a still image from a trail camera setup that is pretty strange. Albeit a bit blurry, when you look at the picture, what do you see? It's difficult to make out, but there has been some speculation. Probably the most off the wall is that it's a baby alien. Others have suggested it might be a lizard, a turtle. I would say the majority thinks it's a snake though, which isn't out of the realm of possibility. I mean, the camera's mounted a few feet off the ground, which snakes could easily climb. A turtle couldn't do that, so I guess we can cross him off the list. Anyhow, it got me wondering, how many of these strange pictures pop up all over the country, the world, that are unexplainable? I don't know, if you have any, send them in. Stumbling upon unexplained glowing eyes in the night can be a frightening ordeal. We see this as a homeowner checks out some weird sounds coming from behind his house. He has his dog in tow as he shines a flashlight into the trees. Quickly, almost immediately, we see two sets of glowing eyes in the darkness. The dog is alert and cautious and for a moment stands his ground. The creatures disappear into the night but then reappear once they realize the dog is no longer that close to them. What do you guys think this could be? Mysterious sightings provoke curiosity about what could be hiding in the dark, whether it's wildlife, an intruder, or something more explainable. I do always love a feel-good story, and I love when encounters with wildlife are unexpected. In this clip, bears, known for their intelligence, will occasionally display behaviors that are quite human-like. So check out this bear just flashing us a wave. I mean, it was probably an unintentional act of friendliness, but it's cool to see and maybe an example of how animals can imitate actions they observe. It was nice to think that the bear was greeting the passersby, but she was probably just shifting her stance or maybe she was asking for treats. That's what I'm going with. I love to see the playful behavior. Trail cameras capture intriguing moments from nature that people might not safely or easily see in person. This specific video highlights a peaceful scene of just a raccoon beside a fence, doing what raccoons do. But if you look in the background against the dark of night, you can see a pair of bright eyes appear. Now, many are saying that this is some type of cryptid or something crazy, but I'm thinking it's just part of an animal, a bear, or it almost kind of looks like a mountain lion. But just seeing the eyes glowing in the background definitely adds an element of suspense. I'm sure the predator is watching the raccoon, but what if he's looking through the lens at us? Anyhow, curious as to what you guys think the animal might be. It kind of crouched down there, so if I had to bet, I'm saying some type of cat. Let me know what you think. On February 2nd, 2004, a man named Michael Lacoma was spending his weekend camping near Fresno, California. He recorded a video on his cell phone where he talks about his experience. We can see him setting up his tent and he even hears a noise on a nearby hill that sounded like a wounded animal. When he decided to investigate, he describes seeing an animal resembling a wolf, but it was on two hind legs. Obviously an unusual behavior for a wolf. In a similar incident, Randy Thompson, a ranch owner in California, captured something intriguing on his outdoor camera in early March of 2004. This is just a quick little hit, but what do you guys think was recorded on this camera? Could these videos be actual evidence of werewolves, or are they just hoaxes? I don't know, the second video looks like the werewolf might have clothes on. And I don't know if people try to do that because they think it's more believable, but that's the Hollywood werewolves. The real werewolves don't wear clothes.
As the old adage goes, forests are believed to be inhabited by werewolves and witches who emerge at night. However, it seems that one of these malevolent entities has chosen to reveal itself during daylight hours. This video, shot at an undisclosed location, captures a car driving through an orchard of some sort, when the driver spots a peculiar creature on the side of the road. Initially identified as a small animal, the creature is soon revealed to be a small, faceless figure crouched and or eating something. The creature quickly scurries away upon seeing the car approach. Is this truly a little creature? or just a fabricated hoax. What do you guys think? I will say this. One commenter said that this was just a skunk. And the more and more I watch it, the more I'm inclined to think they're right. The body of the supposed creature running away might just be the tail of the skunk, even though the tail looks huge. I don't know, I'm definitely interested in your thoughts on this one. In this awesome clip, we see a mountain lion after a coyote. So the first picture is of the mountain lion as she comes around the corner after the coyote. You can kind of see the tail of the coyote off the left of the screen. The trail camera didn't pick it up until it was too late. The other angle we'll see is the coyote just drinking from the watering hole. You can tell he's very wary of what's going on. As the coyote nips the water, the mountain lion approaches from behind. He takes off and you can see the cloud of dust as the lion and coyote scuffle. This is a tough matchup for the coyote. The mountain lion is an assassin, an apex predator, and the coyote, while tough, gains most of his strength from the pack. He can't stand toe to toe with a massive predator like the mountain lion. His best bet is to try to flee and not get caught, which unfortunately does not happen today. Another amazing video here, but don't worry, this one has a happy ending. Pay attention to the right side of your screen. This is just unbelievable. Look at the deer battling. Such resilience. And she gets away. It's just crazy. This is probably one of the most amazing clips I've seen. A man fishing in Canada had been watching two adult bald eagles perched atop a tree near their nest. Well, somehow a bear noticed them also. And the next thing you know, this massive black bear is scaling up this tree. Mom and dad leave the nest and are squawking and trying multiple swooping flybys trying to dissuade the bear from advancing any further. But unfortunately that doesn't happen and the bear keeps going. The man says this went on for a solid 15 minutes until the bear reached the top and pulled a rather large sized eaglet out of the tree and brings him to the ground. While this is an amazing camera capture and seems out of the ordinary, I would bet this is more common than we might think. Bears are great climbers. We know they love to eat, and frankly, they have nothing to worry about in regards to predators. Nevertheless, amazing footage, and I know that guy was happy that that water was in between he and the bear. Coming across a big cat like this mountain lion in the woods would be pretty terrifying and something you would not soon forget, unless you never knew in the first place. 
In this picture, you can see the man smiling, very happy, because he had a successful hunt on this huge deer, and now he's gonna get his buddy to take a picture of him with it. However, only when the flash goes off, does the picture reveal what is lurking behind him? Look at that, the lion's eyes shining as she watches him. We only have this one picture. We don't know if the lion was already hiding in the bushes because the deer had fallen there, or if the lion had been stalking the man, waiting to attack. Now, at the end of the day, I don't imagine the lion is that picky. I think he'd eat either one of them. But seeing this picture must have made this man's heart drop. When interviewed later, the man said he heard a ruckus in the bushes. Unbeknownst to him, most likely this lion was chasing and catching some other prey very nearby. Man, it would have been amazing to capture that on camera too. Anyhow, what an amazing deer and an awesome keepsake to have in this picture. A trail cam installed in the woods of Michigan State in September 2016 captured something spooky. Initially, everything was fine. The camera filmed adorable moments of tiny eaglets in their nest. But suddenly, a black bipedal creature appeared from behind a tree below the nest and walked away. Due to the blurred image, it's difficult to identify the creature. However, many people believe it was a Bigfoot. There have been numerous sightings of Bigfoot reported over the years, and this recent incident has only added fuel to the fire. Naysayers will say there's a lack of concrete evidence, but Bigfoot continues to captivate the thoughts of people around the world. What do you guys think? Was this a Bigfoot? If it's not, it's quite the elaborate hoax. Okay, so someone would have to know that the camera was there. Someone would have to get a Bigfoot suit. They would have to walk within the range of the camera, be picked up on film, and then hope someone even notices them. And then what? I mean, you guys saw how small the image was on the camera. It was barely picked up. How many times might someone have to do something like this before they're even noticed? It seems like a lot of work for nothing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I know this video has been floating around forever. Just a great video of mountain lion cubs here. It is rare to see mountain lion cubs in the wild, and trail camera footage is really one of the only ways you get to see them. It's definitely the safest, that's for sure. Because if you see mountain lion cubs, I hope you have some protection because mom is very, very close by. The cubs are born with spots to help them blend in and provide camouflage from other predators. Just really cool footage here. This video may be one of the rarest as it captures an incredibly shocking moment. It begins with a wild boar walking normally and the trail camera is doing precisely what it's designed to do, record the footage. However, within a matter of seconds, the scene takes a dramatic turn. Out of nowhere, the animal collapses to the ground and struggles to stand back up. Suddenly, its body begins to tremble and its legs shake violently. And watch this. A plume of black smoke emerges from its body and then it becomes still. According to the person who owns the trail camera, unfortunately the animal was later found dead in the same area. 
Okay, now, I'm really perplexed about this. What the heck happened here? Someone said his soul left his body. I don't think so. Could he have been shot and then somehow the gases inside of him are coming out? Seriously, what could this be? This next video shows us something completely off the wall. A bunch of birds were flying high and suddenly they fell quickly and forcefully to the ground. Now I've seen this clip a bunch of times, like most of you probably have, but this is still unlike anything I've ever seen before that. Some of the birds got up and flew away but others didn't move and seemed to have died in the crash down to earth. Later on, it was confirmed that some of the birds did die in the collision. So my question, what would make this flock of birds crash into the ground in such a way that some would die? I feel like I need to know. <laughs> I almost didn't put this video in this series because like I said, I figured most people have seen it, but then I thought, the viewers of this channel are smart. Someone will know something. I have scoured through the comments of other videos and I've yet to see a good explanation for this. So please let me know what you think happened here. A strange video captured by a trail camera has gained widespread attention after it allegedly shows a spooky figure in a forested, undisclosed location. The footage starts off pretty normal, but then a strange creature enters the frame from the left side, crawling on all fours. This eerie creature appears to be lumbering through the woods like a large, bulky animal. However, its behavior? specifically the way it stops and looks around, does not match any known animal traits from this area, or in general really. As the video was captured from a distance, it's difficult to make out the exact nature of the creature. Nevertheless, many people are speculating that it might be the infamous and terrifying creature known as the Rake. Let's think about this. Imagine you set up a trail camera to catch the predator that is eating your livestock and you capture this footage. A humanoid creature creeping through the back of your property, heading straight for the barns. First of all, what is this thing? It's obviously walking on two feet but it doesn't move like a human. Even if it is a camera glitch, making the thing translucent, I can't think of anything else that moves that way. As we watch it again in slow motion, you can see that its eyes are glowing too. Man, this is pretty wild. I'd love to know what this could be. Now, I've seen a few of these videos online, but this one is actually pretty funny. Someone has hung a mirror in the woods and set up a trail camera to capture this bear's reaction. And you can tell that the bear 100% thinks there's another bear in front of him. He checks behind the mirror and then eventually rips it down. As we watch it again, you can see the bear getting more agitated and becoming more aggressive. Anyhow, just a cool thing to capture on camera. This next Bigfoot video is taken in Southeast Oklahoma. Now, most of Oklahoma is just flat land but the southeast portion is heavily wooded and an area that could easily be home to Bigfoot. 
The Bigfoot Researchers Organization has traveled out there to conduct an investigation into a potential Bigfoot caught on camera. They are hoping their recreation will shed some light onto the validity of this video. The video in question was taken in 2011. It involves two kids who are filming a video to teach viewers how to cook the best s'mores. You can see them going along giving direction. And in the background, someone or something runs by. The boys are none the wiser. They don't react to the creature. In fact, it wasn't until two days later that they even noticed the creature in the background of the video. Two of the members of the BFRO really believe this is a Bigfoot, while another one remains skeptical. And this may not be a Bigfoot, but I have to agree that the boys' body languages and demeanors seem genuine. And I don't think they had anything to do with creating a hoax, if this is what it turns out to be. After the recreation, the more skeptical BFRO member explains that this creature is of human size and human height, and there is no definitive evidence at all that this is a Bigfoot and not just a regular person. She goes on to explain that there are houses in the general vicinity and someone could be easily running in the tree line. And furthermore, and a bit damning if you ask me, is that this town has a history of Bigfoot. There is a Bigfoot gift shop and even a festival each year celebrating the creature. She makes an interesting comment saying, Quote, is this an example of the evidence creating the myth or the myth creating the evidence? The believers counter that it was 114 degrees that day. No one would be running in a Bigfoot suit in that temperature. They really feel that the kids and father are not involved and Southeast Oklahoma is a Bigfoot hotbed with multiple sightings each year. Anyhow, both sides put up a nice argument. Let me know what you guys think. I do believe that the kids most likely didn't have anything to do with the figure, but I just don't know. This next camera capture is a badger just minding its own business when two coyotes start to gang up on it. However, the badger here isn't going down without a fight. He's able to even the playing field by moving into the sticks where the coyotes can't move around as well. Eventually, these guys give up, realizing this isn't worth it. In May of 2015, a mushroom hunter is recording himself on a routine hunt in the northern Illinois forest when he is blown away by a startling sound coming from somewhere nearby. The hunter has never heard anything like that and pans his camera back and forth around the woods to see if he can spot anything, but he sees nothing. I think it's time to go. Let me know what you guys think about this clip. This is just an incredible video. We see this guy trying to feed a bald eagle. Just watch. This guy is incredibly lucky. The eagle's talons could have really messed this guy's hands up. In Mount Baker National Forest, some tourists were lucky enough to capture this round and round between a small and very quick squirrel and a pine marten.
The Pine Martin looks like a full-sized squirrel, but that's just how much bigger than he really is than this squirrel. This is a great compilation of cats catching birds. The third one is my personal favorite. But look how unbelievably athletic and agile these cats are. It's impressive. A video posted by the channel Long Island Bigfoot reportedly shows a Bigfoot toughing out a snowstorm in the woods near a trail. As you'll see, the visibility isn't great, and honestly, I just can't see it, but I feel like I'm in the minority. All of the commenters on the video are like, amazing, awesome capture, incredible, unreal. But I'm having a hard time. I mean, I can kind of see something moving around through the snow and trees, almost directly in the middle of the screen. But in my opinion, it could be anything. However, I'm not the professional with the trained eye. So take that for what it's worth. And plus, my eyes were basically crossed. I watched this video so many times. Anyhow, the OP said he went and checked the area after he confirmed the Bigfoot had left and there were downed trees blocking the trailhead that looked like they had been purposely put there. I doubt someone would be out there doing that in that weather. Recently, in an undisclosed area of the Canadian woods, an incredible and terrifying sight was captured by a trail camera on a dark and snowy night. With trail cams, we can now witness the thrill of seeing these fearsome creatures up close, without any of the dangers typically involved, and certainly not something one would want to stumble upon during a hike. More often than not, trail cameras capture fleeting images of a lone wolf, maybe two, silently traversing the wilderness. Rarely do we get the chance to witness an entire pack going about their business out in the untamed wild. Luckily, someone managed to capture this amazing, magical moment in this footage. More than a dozen very, very large wolves can be seen in this footage, carefully and purposefully trekking through the white snow in a perfect line. These wolves are likely part of a very large pack that is hiding somewhere else as these are all big adult specimens that are probably on or in the middle of a hunt. It's amazing to watch them on the move. Despite the thick, crunchy snow and all the brush around them, the impressive pack moves silently through the night, making barely any noise. This is truly a special and breathtaking sight, and I pity whomever they have their sights locked in on. After hearing rumors of a massive mountain lion roaming his area, a man decided he might try to lure him in. He set up one of his trail cameras and strung up a bait bag. The bait bag consisted of old meat trimmings that he knew for sure would attract any wild animals in the area. But what showed up wasn't what he bargained for. A person came into view. The owner of the video mentioned that the creepiest part of all of this is that his home is located in a very remote location. From the looks of it, this person looks homeless, but that's all I can really tell from the video. Of course, it could be a hoax. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think about this one.
This clip here is rather eerie. Owners of an abandoned property set up a trail camera with views directly on this small bridge. The only way in or out. They set up the camera after a rather traumatic situation had occurred between some kids a few weeks before. But this week, what the trail camera captures is equally disturbing. Some type of creature has jumped slash fallen off this ledge and into the water. What the heck is that thing? The original uploader mentioned it being a ghost. Eh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I see a tail swimming. Kinda looks like a mini alligator. And is that face just photoshopped on there? I don't know, maybe I'm just seeing it wrong or I'm missing something. I feel like this is someone trying to make a normal creature into something it isn't. But with that being said, I can't even make out what the normal animal should be. Let me know if you guys can figure this one out. In October of 2021, a Redditor using the username Love is Evil Xanax shared two photographs taken from a trail camera. The caption explained that the camera was set up at the Redditor's grandparents' abandoned house, where strange occurrences had been reported. The camera takes three photos when motion is detected, and the strange humanoid figure in the photograph happens to only appear in one of the three pictures. This has led to much debate among users about the identity of the figure, with some even suggesting that it may be a ghost or some other supernatural entity. The Redditor went on to provide more information about the location of the house, which is allegedly near a Native American burial ground. The Redditor's uncle, who had set up the camera, had experienced other strange occurrences in the past, such as seeing animals or dark figures in unusual places. The Redditor and their father had also experienced something strange just days before the photograph was taken. They actually heard three loud stomps in the woods near the location of the camera, but could never figure out where they came from. The mystery of the photograph and the strange occurrences has captured the imagination of many users. Most have suggested a range of theories about the identity of the figure, including ghosts, time travelers, and aliens. However, as of yet, there is no concrete evidence to support any of these theories. Nevertheless, the photograph has reignited interest in the debate about the existence of the paranormal. What do you guys think this could be? Has anyone seen this creepy video? It was published by the Athens, Georgia Public Utilities Department. While filming a promo video to explain the destructive effects of foreign objects in the sewer system. However, as the camera moves through the drain, it seems to capture something rather startling. What looks like a hand reaches up towards the camera's lens. To this day, the Public Utilities Department has no way of explaining this eerie hand. Some viewers think it's some sort of mutant creature. Others are listing it as a simple bullfrog. I'll let you be the judge. On October 19th, 2019, Reddit user Native Meraki discovered an eerie photo on his trail camera. The camera was located on his remote five acre property and the photo depicted a woman in a long white dress walking through that property. She was dressed in period clothing with a featureless and transparent head. A creepy fact is that the previous owner's ashes had been spread on this property, leading some of the family to speculate that the apparition could be that of the previous owner. While the true nature of the image is unknown, it has left a lasting impression on this family and community, with many wondering if it is a genuine ghost caught on camera. But if it's not, who is the lady in the white dress? One of the strangest phenomena regularly captured by trail cams are inexplicable floating orbs, 
which appear in the next few clips. And we are no closer to solving this mystery now than when it was first captured on trail cameras. Some believe it might be an alien apparition or a ghoulish floating light, while skeptics try to explain the orbs away as dust particles or bugs. However, when the footage is compared and analyzed, scientists are still stumped as to what could be causing these floating lights. These orbs are one of the most puzzling and strange trail cam mysteries that we have still not been able to crack. The shining orbs immediately catch your eye, and their perfect shape and strange movement make it hard to see how bugs could be responsible for these obscure lights. Many wonder if there are more out there, and we just don't catch them because they're not on camera. We see the ones that are on trail cameras because the animal has triggered the photo or the video. Maybe these orbs are all around us. This cool footage caught on a farmer's trail camera shows a fox enjoying his front row seat to a badger fight. The badgers appear unaware that the fox is even there. They're so caught up in their tussle. And the fox seems intent on watching the brawl and no intention of moving. This is some of the most up close and personal cam footage we have seen. And it's unique moments like this that make trail cameras so awesome. The encounter also shows how the apparent personalities of animals can be when they are caught in candid moments like these. The encounter also shows the personalities of different animals, especially when they are caught in candid moments like these. This is a pretty scary encounter caught on camera here. A 20-something daughter was house-sitting for her parents when they went out of town. Their house is in the woods with not many neighbors, but also not completely desolate. Nevertheless, they installed cameras for when their daughter isn't available to house sit, a few outside and one in the home. On the second day the daughter was there while she was out working, after her shift she noticed she had some missed calls from her mom, and later a text message. Well, the text message was actually a video. And here's what it showed. Out of nowhere, a huge black bear jumps down into the living room, which is completely insane. He looks so comfortable. And even when he puts his paws on the piano and it makes a noise, he isn't even startled. Listen to this. He didn't flinch or anything. He didn't get scared from the huge noise that it made or anything. The bear didn't even flinch or get scared from the noise. No one could believe it was real. However, the daughter did begin to realize that if she had been home only 20 minutes earlier, she could have walked in and the bear could have been there. Seeing the video really made it hit home to her about how dangerous this situation really was. The American black bear can weigh up to 550 pounds and may attack if surprised. They might not necessarily seek out confrontation, but if he felt startled and trapped and viewed her as a threat, things could have ended very badly. Man, what a crazy video. Seriously, what if she would have been home, relaxing on the couch or taking a midday nap? It's a scary thought to think about, but I'm just glad everyone is okay. On August 16th of 2021, Reddit user Typhius Oz shared a photograph captured on a remote property in Sweden, depicting a strange black figure standing near a feeding station. The figure appears to be oblong in shape with small legs and feet. While several additional images of the area were shared by the uploader to show it in both daylight and at night, none of those photos featured the mysterious black shape. The figure has prompted speculation from many, with some suggesting it could be Pesta, a deadly icon from Scandinavian folklore. Pesta is often depicted as a haggard old woman dressed in black, carrying a broom or rake. She roams the countryside spreading disease and death. While it seems unlikely that the figure in the trail cam photo is Pesta, 
as the typical depiction of Pesta is an old woman. The photo remains a mystery and has people both fascinated and terrified of the unknown. Michael has compiled almost 45 minutes of video into this clip and I suggest you go check out his channel and watch it. I only pulled a few pieces that I thought were interesting, but you can see all sorts of animals. Deer, squirrels, hogs, armadillos, coyotes, possums, birds, etc. We featured him on this channel before and he has awesome footage. It really is just incredible to see how many different animals frequent in this wallowing hole. It's fascinating. They all come at different times too. Anyhow, check his channel out. He has an amazing spot right here.